It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition. This is for Thursday, June 15th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather stays very warm and muggy today. Maybe some strong storms later today. In fact, we have a risk of severe weather defined for the northern half of the state. And the tropics may be getting a little active next week. So let's take a look at things early this morning. That's the water vapor satellite view. Fairly strong trough well to the north of the state. That's lifting up into Canada. We got some convection for parts of the Midwest, and we'll keep an eye on that. That could push down a boundary down this way that might initiate strong storms later today. We'll check the radar early this morning. One lone shower. Can you find it? It's over in West Alabama where the Sipsy empties into the Tom Bigby River south of Aliceville on the Pickens-Green County line. Temperatures are in the 60s and 70s this morning. Birmingham at 73. Again, upper 80s are likely today. Watch warning map. We got heat problems in the western states with an upper high developing there, but uh, the rest of the country is quiet. But severe storms are possible later today. We've got uh, severe weather risks from the Great Plains over to parts of the southern states and up into cities like Cleveland and Buffalo. There's the Alabama risk, and we've got the standard slight risk. Level 2, yellow, north of a line from Demopolis to near Marbury, Alexander City. In Roanoke, a marginal risk as far south as Citronelle, Andalusia, Troy, and Auburn. And we'll take a look at the specifics on this in just a moment. Tomorrow, risks east and west of the state. No organized severe weather expected here. And on day three, which is Saturday, a risk of severe storms for places like Des Moines, Kansas City, St. Louis, and Chicago. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Uh, one to two inches on an average basis. Some of you might see more. Some of you may be seeing less. And the tropical weather. Now, this is the five-day outlook. There's a low-latitude disturbance coming across the Atlantic. The odds of that developing are fairly small. It's pretty early in the season for that. But uh, the spot to watch is around the Yucatan Peninsula. And again, the models have been very consistent with the idea of something forming in the southwestern Gulf next week. And again, we'll take a look at that in more detail in just a minute. So let's dive into this model, fans. Here's the GFS. This is the 06Z run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. 594 heat bubble south of El Paso. Heights about average here. Strong upper trough near the Canadian border. And a soupy air mass. Uh, so the idea is on the board coming from SPC of maybe an MCS uh, dropping in here from the northwest. Let's check the high-resolution models. The HER model. 5 o'clock today, it says nope. I mean, it's got nothing. Let's check the high-res NAM. 5 o'clock today, it says nope, nothing. Uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, watching the radar today. It's the SPC versus the high-res models. Let's look at a sounding. This is a forecast sounding uh, for Birmingham at 4 o'clock this afternoon. First off, let me just say there's no obviously no tornado threat. Wind fields are very weak. Uh, this, this, we don't have tornadoes with setups like this. Uh, it's a wet microburst problem if we have something going on here. There's a lot of dry air in the mid-levels, which would certainly give that idea credibility. The dew points seem to drop a little bit today. They're not especially high. There's not much of a cap. So, uh, again, summer convection remains a great mystery. So the, if we do see storms later today, they could be strong to severe. But I have a funny feeling it might be all or nothing. Uh, storms pop up quickly. They become strong, maybe severe, or there could be nothing today. So I know that's not helpful, but it's just uh, giving you an idea that there's a low confidence forecast and thunderstorm initiation later today. Tomorrow, we'll kind of go with a typical summer forecast, partly sunny, a few scattered afternoon and evening storms. That'll be the deal for the weekend. This is Saturday, and this is Sunday. Partly sunny, hot days, scattered afternoon and evening storms, and I'd say highs for the weekend, 88 to 91 in most spots. The, the soil moisture drying out a little bit, so we might creep up there toward 90. This Monday of next week, we've got a uh, surface front dropping in from the north that might enhance the chance of showers and thunderstorms and again a broad 1008 millibar low is sitting over the yucatan down to the south tuesday the front kind of stalls out around birmingham and we're going to maintain a chance of uh, scattered showers on tuesday 
And again, we'll watch the Yucatan. This is Wednesday. We really never get into dry air. I think you have to hang on to some risk of a shower. And this is a week from today, Thursday, the 22nd. Flat Ridge down here. Scattered afternoon storms are possible. And really no organized tropical system showing up on this run. Here's the end of the forecast period. This is Saturday, the 24th. Big old nasty 597 heat over the southwest. That's going to be baking our friends in Phoenix. Cold trough in the northeast. And again, pretty typical summer weather for us. We'll check the uh, European. This is Monday of next week. And uh, it's, uh, it's a little farther to the east over the central gulf in terms of the probability of a tropical storm forming. Uh, we'll take a look at the... Uh, OZ European Thursday of next week, and it's got that surface low closer to Brownsville, Texas. So again, clearly potential for some mischief in the Gulf next week, but most of the operational runs when I drifted back toward either the Mexican coast or maybe the southern tip of Texas, not affecting the central Gulf Coast, places like Mobile and Pensacola, but again, something to watch. Highs, upper 80s for the most part, some days in the low 90s and lows across the board, mostly in the 60s and 70s. That's the Weather Extreme video this morning. We will have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.